Hi guys, I'm Brian from VPN Mentor and welcome to our review and tutorial of NordVPN. Coming up, we're going to check what services they offer, what features they have, how their networks perform, and how responsive their support is. Let's check it out! Looking at their website, we can see they protect all of your devices from all major operating systems and that they operate more than a whopping 5,000 servers in over 60 countries. Some of the features they offer include an encrypted connection, their in-house cybersec protection feature that blocks ads and malware content, as well as a double VPN, which is basically a double encryption for an additional layer of privacy. Also, they don't keep any logs, have an automatic kill switch, which is great since it protects your network's traffic in case of sudden drops, and gives an option of using Onion Network over their servers. Using P2P networks is also supported amongst many other features. All of the features can be used on six different devices at the same time. Let's head to their pricing page now. They have a limited time offer at the time of filming this video, and you should check to see if a similar deal comes up on their pricing page at the time of your visit. We can see that they have a deal of a three-year plan, which is the cheapest option, but we're going with the monthly one for the purpose of this video. We'd also want to mention that all of their plans have 30-day money-back guarantee policy. Down below, we can see that they support various payment methods, and some of them are Alipay, GyroPay, and Yandex, as well as a few cryptocurrencies, which will guarantee the anonymity of your transactions. As always, before subscribing to their or any other VPN service, make sure you check out our coupon page, which can be found in the video description and gets you a better deal on your purchase. The coupon page is updated every week, so even if you watch this months after the publishing, the coupons will be up to date. After selecting your plan and finishing your payment, you'll receive an email confirming the transaction and you'll be able to sign into the account. Now, it might be that the payment confirmation email you'll receive will mention Cloud VPN Inc. and not NordVPN, which is quite weird, I have to admit. We were surprised and went to do some more research about it. We found out that Nord is using their services for payment processing only. We were then worried it would imply Cloud VPN would store some of our data, but once again, nothing to worry about, they're not. In case you'd like to know more about it, don't hesitate to check out our website. We went into way more detail there. So back to installation. After signing in, you can see an overview of the dashboard with basic information about your account, your billing history, as well as possible add-in purchase of a dedicated IP address, since they're usually shared. From there, you can go to Downloads and select the software to be downloaded for your operating system and change the current password in the next section. Proceeding to the installation of the program, we selected the Windows version since it's our operating system. After installing the program, we're presented with the dashboard. Up to the top, we can see some of the specialty servers they have, which include features like Onion Network over VPN, peer-to-peer -peer connections, a dedicated IP address if you paid a premium for it, and a double VPN encryption. Now, if you'd like to know more about the benefits of having a dedicated IP instead of a shared one or a double VPN encryption, drop a look at the link in the video description. Underneath is a list of all countries they have servers in, which you can scroll through, or just point and click on any location on the map next to it. Another option for finding the server of choice is to type the country name in the top right corner of the program. If you want my personal tip on how to choose the best server, I suggest you scroll the list of countries, choose the one you want to connect to, but instead of clicking on it, click on the three dots on the right. Click on the scrolling area for servers and just select the one with the lowest percentage. This means that it's the least used currently, so it will be faster, or you can select fastest, which will give you a fast internet connection as well, and then click connect. The settings section gives the information about the activated options, like start on boot, auto connect, which will by default choose the best server, turning on or off a kill switch where you can also specify to which app it applies, and a few other options as well. You can also see your account's information, and by clicking the help center, you'll be directed to the help page on their website. Since we've installed NordVPN software, let's do a test and see how their servers perform. We'll be showing you now the results from speed test on both our local connection and on one of Nord's US servers. Before testing in both cases, we made sure the browser's data and cache is cleared and testing our IP address in either case so we can confirm the service works properly. As you can see, we were connected to the US server and let's see how it performs. Well, ping is 7 milliseconds and download is 49.02 megabits per second with 2.85 megabits per upload for our local connection. Testing the speed from the Nord servers, we can see a ping of 219 milliseconds, which isn't great, but makes sense considering the distance, with an average result of 5.77 megabits per second for download and 1.57 megabits per second for upload for more than 40 servers tested. Comparing that to the average speeds of other VPN providers we've measured, it seems to be really good. Remember the trick I mentioned earlier? I'm going to show you now how it actually impacts your internet speed. 
Go to the list of servers in the NordVPN app and click on the three dots menu on the side of your country of choice. When the menu pops up, choose fastest under server submenu and test your connection after the change. Using this method, we've got different results. Ping is now 115 milliseconds, but the download speed is 41.51 megabits per second and upload is 2.21 megabits per second. Massive difference in speed and awesome performance. Now, since we'll be checking out whether NordVPN can successfully stream content from Netflix, we're going to take a look at whether we can do the same from our local connection by searching for a show called The Walking Dead, which we know is geo-restricted. At the same time, we'll be searching for the same content, only with the NordVPN turned on and on a US-based server. It's a shame we don't see the exact location of the server within the US, but that's not a big deal. After about 10 seconds, we're connected. Comparing the two connections, we didn't find anything using our local connection, which was expected. But using NordVPN, we can see we did locate the show and started the streaming with no issues. Well done, NordVPN. Since we're done with our test, let's check whether we can request a refund and at the same time check out the responsiveness of their customer support. You can do that through their website help section to send an email or go through chat with one of their agents. We've chosen the second option and received a reply within 10 seconds. And after asking for a refund, with a quick explanation of our reason to cancel, we received a confirmation on our refund request and could expect it in the following days, which we can say is what happened. If you're interested to learn more about NordVPN, we suggest going to our review page linked in the description, where you'll be able to find lots of details about their service, as well as expert reviews and current ratings, so you can compare them with other providers and make the best choice for yourself. Well, that completes our work for today, and we're going to wrap things up with our likes and dislikes about NordVPN service. First, what do we like? We like their ability to live up to their claims and unlock restricted content, we check that out through Netflix. We like their great server speeds, and we like their security features like DoubleVPN, CyberSec, and KeySwitch. We really like their application, which is easy to use and remarkably straightforward. We like that it's set up for support on six major devices on one plan on all major operating systems. We like their various payment methods. There are a couple areas and improvements we'd like to see in the following areas. First, their VPN app only shows countries, and having cities there would be really nice. Also, the app doesn't allow you to contact support directly, and we think that's an area for improvement. Well, that's all for me today. I've worked hard for this video, and it would be great if you'd share it, like it, and leave comments down below. Thank you very much. See you next time.